Every day, thousands of Minnesotans with disabilities go to work, and chances are they are earning less than minimum wage doing it. Yeah, it's a legal practice that has been in the books for decades, but right now there is a push to pay those with disabilities more. 28-year-old Josh Brady has cognitive delays. He's also been blind since birth. I wrote Dear Auntie Joan. Nice. A year ago, he accepted his first job at this Hopkins Pizza Hut. What they did is they carved out a position where he will bag a um, bone in and then um, regular boneless wings. Brady works two days a week for about three hours. He earns $11.55 an hour, which is above minimum wage and far beyond the subminimum wage typically paid to people with disabilities. But the subminimum wages, they're really based off of what they're able to produce an hour. So in many cases, that's just cents on the hour. Catherine is Brady's mom. I can't imagine having the stress of making a, a wage that's based on just how quickly you work. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's not a right fit for us. But in Minnesota, it's been a legal practice for more than 80 years. According to a recent legislative report, more than 4,000 Minnesotans with disabilities earn less than minimum wage. Right now, there's a movement to end it. In our opinion, this is really an issue of civil rights and dignity. Susan Florent, an attorney with Mid-Minnesota Legal Aid, testified before a group of lawmakers on the issue in March. If a worker with disabilities in Minnesota is working, they should be entitled to the same minimum wage protections as anyone else. But opponents argue ending subminimum wage could drive potential employers away. Those are very real concerns. I wanted a job. Brady. I like working at Pizza Hut. Recently went before members of the Minnesota legislature. I like being part of their team. To share his story. People with disabilities can do a lot. It's just, it's really nice. It's, it's really, I think, teaching Josh the whole part of working hard, you get paid. I mean, it's part of the American dream, right? I am blind, but I am a lot of other things. And the bill to end subminimum wage is working its way through the legislature right now. And I'm told that most day programs participate in the subminimum wage model. Brady's mom says that if you have a loved one with a disability and that person wants to be part of the workforce, you should really communicate that with your county social worker for additional services, despite already being part of a day program.